This is the Luminet Drive. It's currently the only light therapy device designed to be used in a vehicle. So I drove around with it and tested it to see how well it worked. Later on in this video, we're gonna go through all the data I collected as well as my thoughts on it. So stick around for that. The Drive is the newest light therapy device from the parent company, Lucimed, that also makes the Luminet 3 that we reviewed a while back. Unlike the Luminet 3, however, the Drive uses a turquoise blue light instead of a white light. This gives it the ability to deliver far more circadian light per unit of lux, which is extremely important in a vehicle because you don't want a lot of bright light distracting you from the road. The Drive comes with a magnetic visor mount, a USB-C charging cable, and a three-port car charger. To set up the drive, just slip the magnetic mount over your visor with the flat side facing up. This allows you to angle it down properly. Next, attach the drive and make sure it's centered over your head. In order to make sure it's working properly, you'll want it angled towards your eyes instead of, say, your forehead as big and beautiful and reflective as it may be. Once you've got the angle down, you can tighten it with the included Allen wrench and you're done. Now, how do you use it? Well, the drive has three brightness settings that can be cycled through with the power button. After a setting is selected, it runs for 20 minutes and then shuts itself off. Now, a caveat I will mention is that when it shuts off, it blinks three times. And I found this kind of annoying and unnecessary, but what are you gonna do? Now, I was kind of blown away by the battery life on this thing. When I ran it, I was able to get 25 sessions out of it on the high setting before it needed to be charged again which I thought was pretty impressive. Since you're not going to be using it on the high setting more than likely, this thing should last you like a month before you have to charge it. Uh, so that's pretty convenient. Now, if you're doing multiple sessions, if you have a longer drive, it won't last as long, but still the battery life was better than I thought it would be. But that begs the question, which setting should you use and how effective is it? And that's where our testing comes in. Luminette recommends that the low setting be used if you're closer than 10 centimeters or four inches, medium if you're between 10 and 20 centimeters or four and eight inches, and high if you're anywhere past eight inches or 20 centimeters. The claim is that this should keep the drive at around that 100 lux brightness level, give or take 50 lux. Since I have access to a lab grade spectrometer, I took readings every two inches out to about a foot or so to see how effective it was at different distances. And then I plugged all of that data into the LHRC circadian stimulus calculator to see what their minimum recommended dosage times would be at various distances to see where we should be using this. So I've got graphs of both the lux and the minimum dosage time, and I've color coded them at uh, sort of my recommended ranges for each brightness setting. So we're gonna go over those now. As you can see on the low setting, Around four inches is really the sweet spot, with anywhere from three to five inches being the ideal range. The trick here is, of course, to avoid a very high or low lux, as too high will be too distracting and uncomfortable on the road, and too low won't be effective enough. And on the medium setting, it looks like the sweet spot is at around seven inches, while the ideal range is between six and eight inches. Though, once you get to eight inches and beyond, you might wanna use it twice for the most effective response. And last, we have the high setting. This is best used in the nine to 12 inches range, but again, at 12 inches, you may want to double up the dose. Ultimately, you can just use this data as a guideline and use whatever setting you find feels best for you. In the description below, you'll find a link to our written review where you can see all of these graphs if you wanna check back on them at any point. And if you guys have found this video helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit the like button. It really helps out the channel. Thank you. So after driving around with this thing for a couple weeks leading up to this review, I feel like I can give you my honest thoughts on it. It's definitely bright enough to wake me up in the morning. So if you're dealing with early morning grogginess or sleepiness on the way to work, this is definitely worth getting. Now the elephant in the room, of course, is that you're shining a light into your eyes while you're driving. Right, so how does that work? Um, and as far as I noticed, it really wasn't that bad. Positioned properly, it's kind of out of your field of view. I mean, you shouldn't look at it while you're driving. I mean, they recommend not looking at it. I recommend not looking at it. But as long as you have some street lights on and the brightness setting isn't too high, and you can kind of play around with it, you know, take it out for a test drive and see how you feel. But I didn't have too big of an issue with it, even when it was really dark out. If you do get to a really dark spot on the road, you can kind of just move your head forward 
and out of the ambient light and you can see perfectly. So you can very easily change your visual field with it. It doesn't reflect off of the windows like a cabin light does. So there isn't like that going on. The only issue you might run into is just super dark roads and not being able to see clearly out of your vehicle because of that. But if you have street lights or anything like that, I don't think this is gonna be an issue at all. If you find the medium brightness setting too bright at the recommended range, you can always just bring it down to low and then double up your dose, you know, if you have time in your commute for that. That's always an option. Again, my biggest issue with it was the three blinks at the end. Depending on where you are in your drive, that could be really annoying. You know, if you're doing something complicated, some kind of merge or something, and all of a sudden this light starts flashing. It's rather quick, so it doesn't last that long, but still, it just feels like the type of device it is, it seems like the wrong thing for it to do. Like, it should just shut off. But you know, if you could use something like this, the pros do outweigh the cons, I think. So it's not that big of a deal, but it's just my one pet peeve. In closing, if you have to take long morning commutes in the dark winter months or on really gloomy days, or if you're a truck driver who has to drive at night or something like that, this could be like an indispensable product, honestly. It's a really unique and effective light therapy device and that could be especially useful for certain groups of people. So if you're one of those people, this is something you could try out. I mean, there's a free trial from Luminet. Amazon, of course, is basically a free trial. You can return anything you want there. So if you think you might benefit from it, buy it and give it a shot. There's, there's really no harm in trying. And with that, that's about it for this review. If you guys want to check out the written review, once again, it's in the description as well as all of our other stuff is down there and on the website. All right, see you next time.